Hi guys, here I am for my module six capstone. So here's a quick overview of my activity that I did with my class. Um, we talked about the misconception that matter can only be in one state. So currently in second grade, we are learning about the states of matter and that students have that misconception that if it's a liquid, it can only ever be a liquid and it can't ever be considered anything else. They've just learned how we can change different states of matter, but now we're getting into what can a object or item be ever classified as being a two different types of matter. So this week at school is Read Across America week, um, and we are celebrating Dr. Seuss today. So what better way to practice matter than to create some oobleck? And we read Bartholomew and the oobleck. And um, the goal for the students was once we made our oobleck was to identify if it is a solid or a liquid. So looking at STEM practices, um, I thought this was a combining two or three disciplines of STEM. Um, science, obviously we're looking at the states of matter. Engineering, they were creating their oobleck. And in math, we were looking at the data and then we were graphing that data to determine which one we felt more strongly about, if it was a solid or if it was liquid. With inquiry, this is a structured activity. Um, being so young, I really feel like my students need good practice in the beginning stages of inquiry. So I gave my students a question, is oobleck a solid or a liquid, and a procedure on how we're going to solve it. And But they completed the investigation all on their own, and they compiled the data, and then they came to their own conclusion. And I used this chart just to show what that looked like from this um, article, many le levels of inquiry. So this was my actual activity. The first thing that we started to do was, um, and I got this mid mid session was compile a list of what we know and how we identify a solid and how we identify a liquid. Then they made a prediction. So they predicted if the oobleck was going to be a solid or if it was going to be a liquid. And then we actually made the oobleck and then we put it in Ziploc baggies and then they made observations. So they had to write down like, what do I see? Referring back to that chart of the different states of matter. And they had to say, I feel, what does it feel like? Is it hard? Does it take up space? Um, how does it move around? Does it move around quickly like a river does or does it move around slowly? So after they made those observations, we gathered the data as the class to determine if we thought it was more of a solid or more of a liquid. And something really interesting I thought was that we had nearly equal amounts of data for both solid and liquid. So my class was pretty 50-50% on solid or if it's a liquid, which I thought was really interesting. And then using that data, we um, came to the idea that some students after discussion were saying, well, it's both. And our class kind of came to agreement that maybe it is possible that a solid and a liquid can be the exact same thing. So I actually allowed my groups to have some time to research if it was possible to be a solid and a liquid. And then um, a couple of my groups were found, the non-Newtonian fluid. And um, my class has been introduced to that there are some substances that can substances that can act as a solid and that can also act as a liquid and liquids that move slower like a solid. So that was my inquiry lesson and I hope that you enjoy. Thank you.